Okay, this is the interior of the Unimog. Has a number of features. Down here is the control panel. You've got your windows. You've got your different drive modes, two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. You've got your settings for your gearing. Uh, there's normal gearing. The mule diagram is for workload, which is lower gearing, and then the turtle is for ultra-low gear. The jackrabbit is for regular speed. This is a neutral button that you put this in and then you can control the speed of your Unimog via this uh, arm so you can set and forget. You can set the speed for as low as one or two miles an hour if you're doing low speed stuff. Uh, further down, more lighting controls. Um, here's your hydraulic setup. You can pr uh, program uh, in plow mode, you program the down pressure you want to set your down pressure. Uh, you can program the rate, uh, how fast your hydraulics move. Uh, just the joystick for the plow. Uh, on this vehicle, this is the feeder control for your product that you're using, cinders, sand. Uh, this is your gear stick. There's two modes on this, if you can see. There's manual or automatic. If you put it in automatic, it drives exactly like an automatic car. You just put it in drive and it'll go through the gears. If you put it in manual, there's two ways to shift. You press in the button here is your clutch and you can put it forward to go up gears, pull it back to go down or you can set it the other way. Underneath here, there is a flap and that does the exact same thing. You can drive using both. Uh, it also has an emergency clutch down on the floor. If for whatever reason there's transmission problems, you can pull that clutch out and you can drive it almost like a stick shift using the clutch to push in and you would engage your gears over here.